Welcome to another episode of Rivals. In today's episode, we're going to be driving around the Fuji 90s variant of, well, the 90s variant, sorry, of Fuji Speedway with a car that we had in the previous episode alongside a slightly older but similar variant of it. This particular uh, episode came at the request of the Source of the Nile. Uh, so I hope I, of course, obviously saying that right. I imagine it is because I believe it's Nile. But, um... Uh, and he requested uh, two particular cars, both are Nissans, and uh, one of them I did use last time. The one I used last time was, all the way at the end here, the R92CP, which I used in the, uh, the previous episode to see which cars are fastest around Le Mans. But he also wants me to, to compare it with the R89C, the car that, was a f that Nissan had been using a few years prior to the R92CP. So, and since it is older, we actually will start off with it. Now, unfortunately, unlike the, uh... Once I can do this. Unfortunately, unlike the, uh... As you can see, unlike the R92CP, the, the R89 does not have the... Does not have the, the color, the, the, the secret color, like the, uh... Like the uh, R89C. <laughs> okay, let me try saying this again. The R89C does not have the stealth black color like the R92CP does. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Anyways, so we're going to have to stick with the uh, original paint scheme. So, Because the second scheme there, as you saw, didn't amount to anything. And I also did not mean to, to click that. I was going to check the... Uh, tune up here. Okay. Anyways, now that we finally got that all the, out of the way, we're going to test these cars around and see which one's the best. We'll give them a few laps and see which one does the fastest time. Uh, as now, um, one thing I just wanted to mention before I start here, notice how at the top there it mentions the R89C has 788 horsepower, but yet if you look here it says it has nine, like right next to the name on the position thing, it says it has 908. Hmm, that was a very good shot. So this game kind of, kind of discredits the car of about roughly 120 horsepower. Yeah, that's quite a lot of power that it's not include. That it's not. It's that it's not including. Eh, whatever. It doesn't. It not that it really matters. But yeah. So we're gonna see here which. Of these two cars, we'll we'll go the fastest around 90 Fuji, and basically this 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 variant of Fuji was kind of the last of the uh, going of having cars go incredibly fast ba until the whole mass uh, the, until the track was shut down in 2003 to be renovated in 2000 and reopened in 2005 with a much uh, more technical layout. I mean, it still has the very long straightaway. But it no longer, but it's not as uh, high speed focused as say uh, the older Fuji was. I mean this, this is even still a slightly more technical version of the '80s Fuji, which was incredibly more high speed focused. Like you saw where, you you might have saw there where that corner there had a section that branched off because uh, it, uh, the '80s Fuji, like the original Fuji, used to be a really ridiculously fast track and. So, and then in the original Fuji, this chicane did not exist. You just kept going straight forward. There was n But I guess for, I guess for maybe safety reason, because cars would have been flying around the track and, you know, some, you know, c potentially serious accidents, that's, that's when they started adding these more technical bits to try to, to try to slow it down a bit so people don't end, so people didn't end up, end up getting into a serious situation. But nevertheless, all that really meant was that you know, it was still it was still a really fast track, and you know you can you can see just how much speed I get here with the uh, R89C. So you know it did th these little sections did improve with you know bringing the cars for down to a stop further, but it didn't exactly do a whole lot. Uh, it was only a couple improvements. Which is why th I guess they decided in 2003 they think okay we we really need to make this a more technical place, which is exactly what they did. And what I'm doing is have is struggling a bit with uh, keeping this car under control here, 
not particularly doing very well, I would I will admit. Careful there. Alright, we're good. I'm still about I'm about the three and a half seconds ahead of my original time, so that's fine. But yeah, because of just how fast much faster these older Fuji tracks were compared to now, you could get so much quicker times with them. Like I could I like unless you got like a formula car, I can't imagine any car now nowadays and with Fuji's currently it would be capable of a one thirteen five. Although that does make me curious, what was the fastest lap times that were ever set around this track? I should look that up at some day. And we've yeah. I I want a clean lap, damn it, and I can't get a clean lap, apparently. I'm just not doing a good enough job. So yeah, I'm gonna have to give it one more lap, one more than I was I was planning for, but just because I can't seem to get a, I can't seem to get that clean lap that I'm looking for. I'm just trying really hard, but it's like you know, what can you do? Uh, well, I can tell you what you can do: drive the car fucking better than I can. That's what. That is one way. Apparently managed to catch some time on that last bit there, so that was, that was a bit good. Anyways, I really want a clean lap here, so let's see if I can actually finally do it. And that was pretty good. I kept it I kept it at third. I didn't want to bring it down second. There we go. Good. That was good. That was a lot better than last time through there. Not it may not be the best, but you know, still better than uh, before. And there we go. So far, so good. Could have, could have probably been a little bit later, uh, not a little bit later, a little bit earlier on the brakes there, but you know, still kept it on the road, and that's the important bit. Just quickly put it down a second to see if it would help slow it down a little quicker there. And I do, the reason I shift up quickly from second to third when it starts trying to spin its wheels is just, just to avoid anything potentially, you know, bad, so. Anyways, it's, it's, it's a dash to the finish, and we're going to set a benchmark of 110.565. It's actually pretty excellent. I was a bit surprised. I thought it was only going to be about a 111-ish there, maybe, but no, a 110.5. The finish came up a bit quicker than I was even remembering off the top of my head. Yeah, there we go. 110.565 is the time to beat for the R92 CP. So let's see if it can manage. So let's quickly go once again back over to Nissan. I've got to do a lot of scrolling here. In fact, actually, hang on. Let me get that. Nope, that's... Come on. There we go. All right, now... Ugh, damn it. I'm using both the D-pad and the analog stick to try to scroll a little quicker. It does actually go a bit faster, but if you're not careful, you could accidentally try to, uh, try to s put a thing in favorites with, uh, without, uh, uh, whatever. I can't English still. You should know this by now. Anyways, back to Fuji 90. So now we got the R92 CP out. This has a little bit more horsepower compared to the R89C. It's making about 939 so this, and it's still saying, you know, only about 788 horsepower, so it's still discrediting it at about 150 at this, 151 horsepower or something like that. So, will that extra power actually make the uh, R92 better, or will it just be better because, you know, car that's a few years, a few years newer, so it's just, you know, a little bit more, a little bit more better for corners and stuff and all that sort of stuff? Well, we're about to find out. Okay. All right, so we're gonna br let's see what we manage here now. Again, if if I manage to get a faster time with the R ninety two CP on lap one, then we don't really have to keep continuing because basically the whole goal has already been fulfilled. 
All right, now here we go. Can the R92 CP do it? Now, it does get up to the speed. The speed, their top ends are, I think, are about roughly the same. They're not too different. Oh, we got a bit of a uh, rumble, r bit of the rumble strip there. Bring it down to speed. There we go. Good, good. This is that was that was actually quite really well done through there. Oh, that wasn't that wasn't too good though. I kind of hugged a corner too early and kept too much speed. Oh, gave it a bit of gave it a bit of a lot of throttle, but just had to kind of be be careful there. Okay. This car, this I I will admit the R92 CP does not seem to really like that uh, chicane very well. The R89 C ta kind of tackled it a little bit better. Like, I'm going to be honest, they, I feel like the R92 CP. I was I I think I remember saying when I was originally testing this before in the uh, last video. That it felt like it, uh, it felt like it hand, it was a bit of an understeer-like vehicle. It had a bit of understeer, and comparing it against the R89C, I kind of still feel the same way. The R89C felt a little sharper than the uh, R92 d does here, but as you saw there, we were still able to go a bit faster, setting a 110.402. But I'm just gonna give it another go because I kind of didn't stop here. And there we go. A lot, a lot better through that corner with, with, without question. Much better through there too. Try to save up the time that I was because I was slightly behind there because of the first corner. But you know. There we go. That was that was good. I think that was pretty good. I want the only reason I'm still going because I want to see. Oh, this, here we go. This could be a sub 110. Come on, give me a sub 110. I want to see what this time will be because this is this could even be 108. Come on, is it going to be a 108? Oh, 108.5. That's about a full 10, nearly 10 seconds faster than the R89C. I will say, maybe if I really pushed it, I could probably get the R89C down to sub 110 as well, I imagine. But I would I would expect because the R92CP just has that little bit more of extra power, it's probably it would probably still outperform the R89C. It's also just generally a better looking vehicle, but I, although I do really like how the R89C has that same thing going for it, like the Jag, uh, similar car at the time, the Jaguar XJR9 was going for, where the the rear end is kind of closed off. I kind of like that look. It's kind of unique. Kind of miss that style. But anyways, the R92CP does the faster time around the track. So it's as fast as in time. But if I were to choose which car I would want to drive, probably the R89C. I did have a little bit of trouble with the R89C, as you saw a few times there. But I do generally think its handling is just better. It's, it just feel, it feels a little sharper. And if... I felt like maybe if I really push it, I could get it closer to that time, but I still think just because of that little bit of extra power and no change in the weight or whatnot, I do believe the R92 CP would still be the uh, faster car. But yeah, that's, that's going to do it for today's episode, guys. Stay tuned for the next one, and uh, next one won't have another repeat car like we did this time around, but we'll see exactly which what we will have. I won't say what it is yet this time, so oops. Uh, basically, though... Stay tuned for that. If you want to check out my Twitter, my Twitch, my tip, Patreon, my forum boards, or if you want to submit a clip to the highlight reel, all the links for that are in the description box down below. And uh, like I always leave off with, thank you guys so much for watching, and take care.